welcome back to AM Northwest. Now, you may have seen him compete on Last Comic Standing, or you've seen his pop culture commentary for VH1's Best Week Ever. Later this month, his new show, The Benson Interruption, premieres on Comedy Central, and we're pleased to welcome to AM Northwest comedian and Dave's former roommate, Doug Benson. Nice to have you here. Hey. We have a number of your fans here. Hello again, former roommate. I want to go back to, I want to go back. I was telling somebody yesterday, by the way, because uh, I moved back from L.A., and then, and then you moved out of the apartment we were in, and I asked you, what'd you do with my desk? And you said you gave it away, which upset me because I thought it was a valuable desk, but you told me there were about 300 pounds of coffee stains on it. Yeah, I don't remember any of that. Yeah, <laughs> like, here's what I want to go back to. Here's what I want to go back to. The, the T's here. From Cool Customs Guy, editor number three, Buckaroo Waiter. Um, these are all roles you had or screen names? Those are the, the, you know, when you have a tiny part, when you only have two lines, they tend to just give you the weird, like, Buckaroo Waiter. The, the restaurant was called Buckaroo something, so I was the Buckaroo Waiter on uh, Yes Dear, uh, and it's still, I know about whenever these things play in syndication because uh, people tweet check. about it, and I get small checks. Small checks. <laughs> I get like a, like a check for 24 cents. That's nice. That I just go, well, that's that cost me more money to go, to go put that in the bank, more time and money. You don't throw them away, do you? No, I save them. Save them, yeah. It's fun to have a bunch yeah, of them. Yeah, I would frame those. That would yeah, yeah. But you... then uh, Cool Customs Guy was my favorite because on How I Met Your Mother, they cast me as a customs guy who lets a dude that's clearly carrying drugs from Amsterdam back uh, into the States. <laughs> I, I play the customs guy who's like, go ahead, don't worry about it. <laughs> and so it's, it's kind of a funny cameo for, for people that know me. You, know, you heard us talk about the Hollywood marriages that are leading, that are getting, in, get, they're all getting divorced, it mm -hmm. seems. You live in Hollywood. What's your take on some of that? Well, when I heard I mean, about... Why, why all these divorces? Well, you know, because it, it is Hollywood, and, and even everywhere else, 50% of people get divorced. Right. I, 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 I'm told, so it's not that crazy that it happens in Hollywood. But when I heard about Courtney Cox Arquette and David Cox Arquette, <laughs> <laughs> when I heard that they were separated, it, it made me want to scream four. Because they've, they've got Scream 4 coming out. Oh, that's right. And I was like, this is just a publicity move. For Scream for, 4. Just to put, you know, because how else can you get David Arquette in the news? Yeah, that's Because <laughs> <laughs> she's got a hit TV show, and then he's just like, I just can't, I just am surprised it took her 11 years to be like, oh, wait a second, this guy's a total dork. <laughs> I, that's what I'm I the don't star get. of Cougar Town. <laughs> that's what I've I don't got get. fake lips. Why are, there are so many Hollywood women who really just fall for idiot guys? I don't get that. Yeah, yeah. Well, and I, and I, mean, I know he's you're not charming a in character. his own way. Is he? Yeah. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's talk about your new show. You have a new show. Doug Benson interrupts. Uh, that's roughly what it's called. What is it called? The Benson Interruption. <laughs> okay, the Benson Interruption. Yes, yes, okay, yes, yes. all right. <laughs> It'll be on Thursday nights right after the Colbert Rapport. Yeah. And the Benson Interruption is a stand-up comedy show where friends of mine that do stand-up, like like you have done yeah. in, in your day. You will, you will interrupt them? I will. They come out, and I sit in a chair next to them with a microphone while they do try to do their act, and I just say, it's kind of stuff you'd say if you're watching another comedian in the back of the room to the other comics, but now it's just all and it's totally front unscripted. and center. It, they come in with a plan, but I don't know what they're going to talk about. Right. And then I just jump in with whatever. Just whatever. Random it, thoughts enter my head. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah, so yeah. You, basically what, what, what's happening now is you're being paid to sit on stage and heckle. Yeah. Essentially, yeah. yeah. But it's, it's helpful heckling. Like most heckling is like trying to hurt the show or right. trying to draw attention to the heckler. And me, it's more like uh, tags for their jokes. Uh, new directions to go in, questions about, you know, like, what, what's wrong? Like, like if I told that joke uh, that, that, that I just tried to tell about uh, Courtney Cox and right. David Arquette made me want to scream for, mm -hmm. then the me in the chair would say, you know, that joke could use an end or a beginning or a middle. <laughs> 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 so uh, even with my own act, I'm always playing, uh, playing that role of making fun of the, the material itself. You have so much going on. You have the podcast, uh, Doug Loves Doug Movies. Doug Loves Movies, and, and four people get... that listen to it are here in the, uh, in the audience wearing, today. And they're wearing name tags. They're wearing name tags because I ask people that come to the show to wear name tags because we give away prizes at certain points, and it's easier for me to, instead of having to go, what's your name, where are you from, that kind of stuff, I just go, oh, Nate, you won, or... <laughs> Whatever that says on it, it's too far away. <laughs> I think it says Nate. Yeah, we were so, we were looking at your your uh, IMDb page, mm -hmm. and uh, IMDb by the way, you are you are Doug Benson. <laughs> uh, and and here's what what caught it. this I didn't know, and I knew you then. You were in Captain EO. Yeah, yeah. 
uh, it says uncredited orange dancer. Yeah. Because <laughs> here's what happened. Now, let, let, me get a quick, let me get a quick shake. How come that was never in one of your comedy <laughs> intros when I, when I knew you? I would work with you. They never mentioned he well, was a dancer Well, because it's a weird thing to bring up in an intro. Like, here's a gentleman who's going to do stand-up, but he was a dancer in Captain EO. There's right. really not really a connection. But what happened was Francis Ford Coppola made that 3D spectacular for Disneyland mm -hmm. that went way over budget. And they couldn't afford these professional dancers anymore that know how to pop and lock and run around in the orange suits. So uh, they just hired extras, because a friend of mine is the one-legged robot in the movie. So he just recommended me, and I came in, they put me in the dancer outfit, but you only see us at the very end when Angelica Houston turns into a prettier version of Angelica Houston, <laughs> then uh, that's me and a bunch of other people who aren't dancers just jumping around, completely <laughs> unchoreographed. <laughs> and it's just, if you watch it, it's just madness. It's like, what happened to those great dancers that were in the entire movie? It's almost like Angelica Houston turning into a and, princess. And there, there I am. There yeah. you are, yeah. Yeah, there I am kneeling. <laughs> And, oh, uh, there you are. I and see it was, it But you know, now at I the time, it, it was probably significant, but insignificant, as you say, as far as your stand-up career. But now, you know, it's something iconic. Yeah, I'm trying to work up, I should work up some sort of routine about it. And it's interesting that it's back at Disneyland now. Like, yeah, they took something. it away when he had all that, you know, trouble. Controversy? All that trouble with the laws and such. <laughs> and uh, and then, he, he, then he passed away and people were like, oh, now we can watch Captain Neo again. It's safe for the kids again. <laughs> <laughs> Don't have to answer any questions. Did Other you, than he's dead, which is probably a bummer to talk to the kids about. That's a, it always kills a ride at Disney. Did you, uh, <laughs> did you meet him? I didn't like shake hands with him or anything, but he was. We were there together all day. I mean, I was around him all day. And whenever it was his turn to to dance and sing to playback, but you know, his dancing, he just can turn it on and off so effortlessly. It was it was amazing because he'd just be like sitting in the corner quietly, and then they'd be like, "Michael, we're ready for you," and he'd go, "Okay," and he'd come over. And then they'd say action, and he just like dances around and acts totally awesome. And then they're like cut, and he's like, I'm gonna go back over there. <laughs> like, he's just he's insanely timid and talented at the same time. So it was it was fun to watch for for one very long day. I was there for like 12 or 14 hours because it was the last day of shooting, and they had to get it all. Had to get it done. <laughs> all right, so thank you so much for coming. Thank We're you really, so much really for having it. me. Do we mention I'm gonna be at Helium all weekend? Yes, we, we are. It's yeah. a great new comedy yeah. club here yeah. in town. <laughs> Don't right. you wish you could undo the signs of skin damage? Oh, that's your line. I'll let you do it. <laughs> so do you wish you could undo the signs of skin damage from all the years of sun? Yeah. I do. Coming up next, we're going to tell you about a treatment that can help turn back the hands of time. Yeah, but first, we'd like to give away three tickets, or three, uh, three pairs of tickets. Here's so give yours a chance to win tickets to see Dunk Show at Helium Comedy Club. Good tonight, tomorrow, and Saturday. With a callers 15, 16, and 17. Bring your damaged skin down to the club. <laughs>